Good morning everyone, it is another day of our French trip and today we plan to go to uh, the biggest outlet in France, to the Valle Village. This outlet is situated right next to the Disney World and right next to our hotel where we are staying, Ibis Marne. Uh, Val d'Europe hotel we are not uh, like looking for something specific for ourselves for ourselves we just really want to see the outlet uh, we are almost ready right now going to um, check out of this hotel today and uh, after the outlet we are heading to Rouen we are staying the night uh, there we are mm, seeing the town a little bit and then uh, tomorrow we are going to the ocean we are going to Etretat this is going to be my first time in Etretat in France and that is going to be something special uh, today uh, is going to be a hot day again according to the forecast I've checked like yesterday and the day before we had like 35 degrees here in France in the Paris region and today is going to be hot again so I put a, a, a like a tank top like this the, this white top is from Stradivarius I've worn it a lot this summer it is from this uh, spring summer's collection my jewelry is the same like I had yesterday this is um, a set of earrings from APM Monaco and the rose gold bracelet is from APM Monaco as well I'm going for natural uh, loose hair these days and uh, also uh, the days before in Disney World I was wearing my APL sneakers uh, they were very comfortable but today I want to make a change in the shoes so I will be wearing my uh, Le Tropezien sandals uh, I've shown them already on my channel this is a French brand of sandals uh, from Saint-Tropez uh, which are super super comfortable and on the days when I have a lot of walking I always go for this brand of uh, sandals and with these studs I think they look uh, pretty edgy and cool also the, the I'm wearing a black bag to match the sandals this is a Louis Vuitton uh, twist clutch uh, chain clutch also to uh, add another black accessory I'm going for my black sunglasses these are Saint Laurent sunglasses uh, they are like in a rectangular shape I really love them and uh, I think that is it for the preparations for the day uh, we're going to close our bags check out leave them in, uh, at the lobby and head for breakfast first and then to La Vallée Village here is my today's look, the Sandra skirt, the um, top from Stradivarius, the Louis Vuitton clutch, the Tropezian sandals and we are ready to go. We have arrived here to La Valle Village. We are finishing our breakfast here in Starbucks at the moment and then we are heading to the, discover the brands that they have here. My favorite brands that I want to see here are Bottega Veneta, Prada, Gucci, Laura Piana, Saint Laurent, uh, Christian Louboutin and Ralph Lauren, maybe some others. So uh, let's finish our teas and start the day. Just can't get enough, I just always so puffed, I'm not bad 
We started our day here in the outlet from the Prada boutique. Uh, the Prada boutique here is really smaller than the ones that we uh, visited in Italy. And I'm trying to understand, the prices here are a little bit higher than what we saw in Italy in the spring. And, I'm, uh, and I'm, I don't know if this is only about this Paris outlet or the prices are generally uh, getting higher in all of the outlets in Europe. That is the question. And uh, so we, we've uh, seen some of the shoes that are the same in Prada outlet for years. So the bags don't change there for years. Uh, the, by the way, it is quite hard to film in, here in the shops because uh, they don't let you do this. In Italy, I feel like they are uh, like um, more allowing you to film in the shops. So I hope we will manage to film something for you. Uh, anyway, I will be telling you some of the prices that we see out there for your information. So, after Prada we visited Bottega Veneta, uh, there were no good shoes there at all, there were some bags which were not, which were not bad, with a price uh, about 1,400, uh, we visited the Saint Laurent as well already, I feel like Saint Laurent is uh, more expensive than last summer as well, I bought my sandals there last year for 375 and now they are here for 445. I've seen a beautiful Sac du Jour bag of Skin Saint Laurent uh, in uh, crocodile leather, I think it was, and it was 2000 something. Uh, then we said Loro Piana, uh, nothing special I noticed there. I feel like I'm not a fan of this shop just yet. Uh, then we went to Balenciaga. I know that some of you asked me about Balenciaga in the outlets. I uh, went to see their classic, um, the, their famous sneaker that they have, this kind of sock kind of sneaker, the black one, and the price for that one was 545, uh, but uh, they didn't have the classic model in black, they had the model
material in red and the black they had with like a big logo on the front. Around 1400 was the medium sized uh, classic Balenciaga bag. They had really nice colors. They also had mini Balenciaga bags. Really cool if you are going for this bag. I think they have a good choice of those bags here in Balenciaga. And now I think we're gonna head to Celine, to Salvatore Ferragamo and to Polaroid Florin. Those are just around the corner. shops that we have just visited were Celine, Salvador Ferragamo, Polaroid Florin and Todd's. It is absolutely impossible to film uh, uh, there because the shops are tiny, shop assistants are uh, everywhere, kind of pushy actually and they don't let you film. So uh, I'm going to comment on the shops. Celine had really old pieces, nothing trendy, nothing with this uh, C, you know, the C logo that they have at the moment. Uh, no belts, no nice shoes, nothing in Celine. Then Salvador Ferragamo shop was quite small, but they had their classic ballerinas. They were 321 euro for the pair of ballerinas. They had uh, classic bags in like classic colors. There was a medium sized classic Salvador Ferragamo bag in black and its price was around 1200 euro. We went to see uh, shoes for men in Salvador Ferragamo. They had not bad um, loafers in navy color and the price of those uh, loafers for men in Salvador Ferragamo was around 350 euro. And then we went to Polo Ralph Lauren. The shop is really not big compared to what I'm used to in the outlets. They have way more stuff for men than for women. For women they have like a tiny corner of pieces and there is really a small selection of things. I expected that I would buy something today in Ralph Lauren but uh, they didn't have lots of nice like cable, cable knit sweaters, t-shirts, nothing like that. So we, we went through Ralph Lauren really fast. Then we went to Todd's. I, uh, I feel that Todd's is the only shop that uh, didn't do the increase of prices here. I saw the exact same loafers that I bought there, uh, that I bought in Todd's uh, this spring in Florence and the price was the same. <coughs> the price for Todd's, Todd's loafers in the outlet uh, is around 330-350 euro. And here in Todd's they have their loafers in all kind of colors. So the variety is quite big. Now I think we're going to head to Givenchy and Valentino and gonna see what they have there.
much we love visiting outlets with my husband and finding good deals and how much we filmed uh, in Italy the outlets for you so we were really excited about visiting uh, the, the best outlet in France uh, and we were we had big expectations but for now we are deeply disappointed because the shops are tiny the selection of goods is small and uh, the shop assistants are pushy they look at you like you're trying to steal something all of the handbags are wired like to the tables so you can't really take the handbag freely and like come to the mirror try it uh, with your outfit and stuff like this so we visited the Givenchy uh, just right now in Givenchy uh, they had quite nice bags uh, those were not like classic Givenchy bags but they looked nice They're, they were in a form of like clutches on chains with the Givenchy logo as a closure of the clutch and uh, the black leather clutch in Givenchy a little bit bigger than my Louis Vuitton one was uh, 900 and 954 euro they had some sneakers i like the look of Givenchy sneakers they had only one pair of white ones with a pink logo on the back for women and the price for those ones was 280 euro uh, they had some basic white sneakers for men in Givenchy as well and the price of those sneakers was around 280 euro too after Givenchy we went to valentino uh, they didn't have classic Valentino bags there. They had some bags which were uh, not bad with the studs, but they didn't have the definite shape. They were like a shape of a cloud, if you understand what I mean. In basic color, uh, colors and white, nude, black, and the price of a medium uh, size, I would say more small than a medium size bag like that, in Valentino was 1,100 euro. Uh, then this Valentino shop had not a bad selection of studied um, ballerinas studied uh, heels, studied sandals, and uh, the, uh, the price for those kind of shoes was about 400 euro for all of the pairs. Then we went to Christian Laboutin. This was my first time ever in a Christian Laboutin outlet, and it didn't impress me as well. Uh, the selection was not big. I'm not a fan of Christian Laboutin, I guess. Uh, but if you are a fan of Christian Laboutin, they had the classic black pump for 300, uh, about 390 euros. So you can find this kind of shoe out there. They had a nude pump, but with a, like a small heel, like this kind of height. And the price was about 400 euros as well. They had lots of flashy shoes, both for men and for women. We didn't look at those, but the prices are about uh, 400 euro for all kinds of shoes uh, in Christian Labuta. After that we went to Jimmy Choo. We didn't see uh, anything new out there, what we haven't seen uh, already like in spring in Italy. The prices are about the same, the selection is about the same. They have beautiful uh, everyday sandals there, they have high heel sandals with um, the jump stones and uh, the cheapest sandal that I've seen in Jimmy Choo was about 225 euro. They also had basic sneakers for about 300 euro both for men and for women and now we are actually waiting to get our line uh, to get inside of Gucci uh, here they have uh, an online line where you register and then you get an SMS uh, when you are allowed to enter we're gonna wait and see how it is inside
So we stopped by Maj, uh, they didn't have a big selection of items, they had exactly the same pair of shorts I bought in Maj outlet this spring in Italy, the price was 10 euro more expensive, they had the classic Maj bags, the one with the fringe uh, on the sides and it was 178 euro, this is the same price that we saw in Maj outlets last year, so this prices, uh, these prices didn't uh, change. Then we went to Gucci, we received an SMS on the, our phone that it is our time to get to Gucci. We went there and as we were not looking for anything specific in Gucci, we didn't buy anything, but I have to admit that Gucci is one of the best shops here in the outlet. It had quite a big variety of stuff. Uh, the boutique is quite spacious and comfortable. You can walk freely around, browse through the pieces. They had a big selection of shoes. Uh, they had um, the same shoes that I already bought there last uh, summer and this spring they had classic sandals, classic autumn boots, classic loafers for men and they had really lots of bags, scarves, everything. If you are interested in Gucci, I think this is a good place for you to go uh, to look at. Then we also uh, stopped by Moncler. The Moncler shop was quite big as well. Uh, they had the classic beanie of Moncler. Uh, the prices of beanies was around 165 euro. They had quite a big selection of shoes. They had polos for men in dark navy and in grey they had uh, winter coats of Montclair but interesting that they didn't have like a classic winter puffer by, of Montclair they had uh, the Montclair with uh, puffers with um, tissue material on top like a velvet ones like some
some jeans ones, some really special ones. And then we also stopped by the Barbary shop. The Barbary shop is quite big as well. So I think the three biggest shops here are Barbary, Montclair and Gucci. Uh, in Barbary, I noticed an increase of prices. Uh, I have a Barbary trench that I bought in the outlet uh, th three, four years ago, and it was around 500 euro for me. Now the same uh, trench, classic Barbary trench is 800 euro here in the outlet. So I think this price increase is quite big. They didn't have autumn Barbary coats. Uh, they had some shoes, the sneakers of Barbary were around 250 euro. I looked at a bar uh, Barbary bag of a, it's like new style with a TB logo and it was about a thousand or a thousand and two hundred euro. Now a Barbary hoodie for men was 250 euro and they had some silk scarves, quite a big selection of everything so this shop is not bad. Then we went to the Oog shop. We are a fan of uh, this Australian brand for shoes. Uh, I feel like their shoes are one of the most comfortable shoes that I wear in my life. So I bought a pair of home slippers for myself in Oog for 36 euro. And I bought two pairs of shoes for my mother. Uh, her favorite sneakers that she buys there all the time were 87 euro and uh, winter classic winter black uh, short Oog boot was 127 euro. That is a great deal. I think because usually we pay around 200 euro in Europe for the classic winter boots in Oak. I think that is it that we managed to do by now. Uh, I see the Golden Goose Boutique in front of me, uh, er Ermenegildo Zenia in front of me, and these are the shops that we're gonna go to. I also in front of me see Coach Boutique. I'm not a fan of this brand, so I'm gonna skip it, but there is a Coach Boutique. And in front of the Coach Boutique, there is a Lo Loive. I think the, I don't know the, if it's correct pronunciation, Loive Boutique is in front of the Coach. Uh, so let's continue our journey in La Valle de Lage. the Golden Goose Boutique. Uh, I am not sure I'm ready to buy the sneakers which look already old and worn but if you're interested in those sneakers they sell them here in La Vallée Village for 330 euro uh, and their original price is written 475 euro. Then we went to Ermenegildo Zenia boutique. It is quite small. Uh, we uh, looked at some sweaters for men, at the sneakers, and uh, I filmed the sneakers for you. I filmed the backpack that they had for you. Uh, the sweaters that they sell there, uh, they are generally so much more expensive than we bought in the outlet in Barcelona. Uh, the sweater that we used to buy for 200 euro, now they sell for 500 euro or maybe a little bit less. Uh, but the worst thing was when we went to try the sweaters, they took away our shopping bag in order for, uh, for us not to steal anything from their shop while we are trying on the sweaters. I've never experienced this kind of thing anywhere in any kind of boutique, in any kind of shop in the world, not even in the H&M. So that, uh, that made us feel like we don't want to buy anything there and we just left the boutique. And now we are heading to Sandro, L'Occitane and then for lunch. our visit today in La Vallée Village. We are deeply disappointed by this outlet. We expected so much more from it. Uh, but now we know we're not going to come back here and this outlet is not worth uh, spending your day when you can spend your day going around Paris, going to Disneyland and just enjoying the Paris region. The shops in this outlet were generally not big with a small selection of items and the customer service is not good. People are treated like they are all robbers here, which is really not nice. When I was uh, filming my video 
was about the outlets in Italy, I was sometimes maybe harsh about the Italian outlets, telling that they are not perfect here or there. But now I understand that Italian outlets are so much better than this one, and they are so much more worth the visit than La Valle Village. I'm sorry if this video about La Valle Village is not what you expected. It's not possible to film inside. There are not a lot of good items inside. That is the truth. I hope it will change. It will get bigger. We don't know. But for now, I really recommend you visiting Italian outlets. Sierra Valle outlet next to Milan, Noventa di Piava outlet next to Venice, San Remo, the mall next to San Remo, and the mall next to Florence. And the three shops, not I would say four shops that I um, advise you to visit if you are here already is Burberry shop, Montclair shop, Gucci shop, and the Oak shop. Those three shops have good selection of items that you can choose something from. We are happy that we did this visit, so now we know that we are not coming back here. Uh, now we're going to head to find some lunch here in the area and then we are heading to one and uh, Continuing our journey in France We really like the lobster roll com uh, concept and when we saw this kind of cafe here next to La Valle Village, we decided to stop by. I took a set of the lobster shrimp and the crab and here we also took a lobster roll with avocado The place where we decided to have lunch is called Lobster uh, it is in the mall that is called. Uh, it is in the mall that is called Val Doiro. Yeah, Val Doiro. This mall is straight in front of La Vallée Village. Bon appétit.